This is a project for Bilkent University EEE 102 Digital Design course. What is implemented is an old-school block-breaking game on a digital basis toolboard featuring a Xilinx Spartan 3E FPGA. The design is done on the hardware description language VHDL, and this video aims to demonstrate the project. The game starts by moving the mouse, and the ball moves with a constant speed. When it hits a brick or a site, it changes its direction accordingly. If it hits a brick, the brick vanishes, and the aim of the game is to clear all the bricks. If the game hasn't started or over, game speed can be changed with the tool to push buttons on the board. There are 8 speed settings and it is shown like S.4 on the right to 7 segments. There are two different levels on the ROM of the board. The level can be changed with a switch while the game is idle. The level will appear on the screen and also the level number is shown on the first two seven segments of the board. If the user cannot catch the ball, the game ends and the thumbs down is displayed. The reset button can be pressed to set the game to the initial state and the thumbs down will disappear. A thumbs up will pop up when the user wins the game by clearing all the bricks. The reset button can be pressed then. I use the PS2 mouse to control the board. PS2 mouse outputs the change of position in a very small time, and I use this output to detect the speed of the movement. If the movement is fast, the board will move fast, and if it's slow, the movement will be, as expected, slower. The game can be paused by turning a switch on on the board. While the game is paused, the mouse movement doesn't change the board's position. However, the user can reset the game to change the speed with buttons or continue by switching the switch back. So, this is my project. I'm planning to upload the VHDL code for people who want to try. Thanks for watching.